Hello everybody, how are you? I'm here in my library and you are not. It's lonely in here without you. So I hope we'll all be back together soon. Um, I'm praying for everybody that you're doing well and getting your lessons done and helping your parents. Um, it's a different time for us, but uh, I think a good chapel lesson is in order. And we thank the Lord for his word and for all the lessons that he teaches us from the Bible and that we can trust him in all things. So let's pray. Lord, we do thank you for today and all other days. Lord, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sin. Lord, we pray that you would help us today to learn to trust you more and learn more about you through your word. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, I wanted to tell a lesson about Jesus and some of the things he did. And uh, I borrowed some cards because a lesson is much better on video with cards. So I borrowed these from one of the teachers, and I'll give them back later. But uh, we know that Jesus taught um, different people in different ways. He taught the woman at the well about herself and about her sin and about him being the Savior. And as soon as she believed this, she ran off to tell others. She went and told them about Jesus, and they came, and Jesus taught them she said, come and see a man who told me everything I've ever done. And so when they came to the well, Jesus taught them about himself, about their sin, and about salvation. And at other times, we know that Jesus healed the sick. He healed the lame man. And he healed the lady who was sick. And he taught the children and grown-ups about himself and about God's plans. When the people left from hearing Jesus, they told others all the things they had seen. They told about the miracles that he had performed. And the fame of Jesus spread throughout the land till other people heard about him also. The part I want to tell the most about today is found in John chapter 4. And starting with verse 46. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. Now Capernaum was about 15 miles away from uh, Cana, where Jesus was, where he was teaching. So the, uh, the man knew his son was going to die. He was that sick. And so he was thinking about what to do. And he, uh, he thought to himself, that man Jesus that's over in Cana right now, he has healed the sick. He, forgave, he forgives sins. And he decided, I will go and see him. So he began to have hope. <clears throat> he knew that Jesus had power to do what no doctor was able to do. He was going to go get Jesus and see if he could get him to come back to his house and heal his son. Well, it was about 1 o'clock in the afternoon when he came to Jesus in great haste. He had run 15 miles to see him. And he said, excuse me, please, I must speak to you at once. It's an emergency. It's very urgent. And Jesus noted that the man was very worried and very urgent. Please come and heal my son, he cried, and he knelt down before Jesus. And Jesus asked a question. Why won't any of you believe in me unless I do miracles? Now, the nobleman was like many other of the people. They believed in Jesus only as the one who could perform miracles as needed. But Jesus knew this was not the kind of faith they needed. He wanted them to trust him as their Messiah, as their Savior. Well, the nobleman believed Jesus could do something if he could only get him to go home with him. <clears throat> and they needed to hurry because at any minute it might be too late. But Jesus didn't seem to be in a hurry. But the, man, the nobleman said, please hurry, don't waste any time. My child is dying. Well, Jesus looked at the nobleman with love and compassion and he said, go back home. Your son is healed. Now, we don't really know how the nobleman came to believe. We don't really know how he knew that what Jesus said was true, but he believed and headed home. Well, while he was on his way home, two of his servants came and said, Oh, Master, there's no need to hurry anymore. 
your son is fine. He is well. And the nobleman said, well, what time did he start to get better? And it was around one o'clock the day before, right at the very same time the nobleman was talking to Jesus. Well, when he got home, as you can well imagine, his son ran to greet him. And uh, the man even more trusted in Jesus as his Savior. Now, we may never see such a miracle as this. That may not be what we ever are experiencing, but we know through God's Word that the Lord can and will do all things for our good. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you next time.